The Chancellor has been criticized after he appeared to be pushing a soft Brexit agenda during a speech. In Davos on Thursday, speaking on ITV's Peston on Sunday, Mastorius said he has to go. The Chancellor needs to be singing off the Lancaster House hymn sheet along with the Prime Minister, he needs to have the Prime Minister's back and he doesn't, Mastoris, who is the Speaker's panel chairwoman, said there is a group of Remain supporting Conservatives that aim to cause as much chaos as possible, Getty Itty Vitri MP Nadine Dorius said. Philip Hammond should have the Prime Minister's back in Brexit talks the last thing we need is chaos. We need to get to the end of the Brexit process Nadine Dorius she said they do that by bullying this curveball every now and then or a hand grenade right into it the middle of proceedings whenever we have a lull she added we need continuity the last thing we need is chaos we need to get to the end of the Brexit process the Chancellor is not loyal enough or supportive enough the Prime Minister, speaking at a CBI lunch at Davos, Mr Hammond demanded that Britain remain highly aligned to regulatory systems and maintain the closest possible future relationship between the EU and the UK, post-Brexit. He said, we're taking two completely interconnected and aligned economies with high levels of trade between them and selectively moving them, hopefully very modestly, apart, and so we should be confident of reaching something much more ambitious than any free trade agreement has ever achieved. In response, a Downing Street source said, while we want a deep and special economic partnership with the EU after we leave, these could not be described as very modest changes. Prominent Leave campaigner Jacob Rees-Mogg has said the Treasury is doing its best to obstruct Brexit. Following Mr Hammond's comments, Ian Duncan Smith has also urged Theresa May to put her foot down, insisting, nobody is indispensable, the former party leader accused Mr Hammond of going against government policy, he said, the Prime Minister cannot govern with Philip Hammond sniping from the sidelines.